everyone and welcome back to Aviation. Today I'm going to do an inbox review of the Mikoyan MiG-17 PF, also known as Fresco, or uh, the Chinese version F5A. The uh, kit is from Trumpeteer, it's 1 in 32 scale. The kit number is 02206 and it was released back in 1999 in the same time with his um, little brother, the uh, MiG-15 BIS. Funny enough, um, this kit actually um, share a lot of parts. There are uh, three spurs that are, are identical. Here we have um, four grey spurs, one transparent, and what was missing from the um, uh, MiG-15 is the rubber tyres and a weight, a proper weight to to put in. We'll get back to that. The instructions again, um, not very complicated, but um, it's a little bit atypical for uh, Trumpeteer. Again, they do give you the uh, Tamiya um, colours. And I think this is just again another upscale of a 1N48 kit. Okay. I do have this kit for a while now, um, just like the MiG 17, because I was, um, uh, MiG 15, sorry, because I was planning to do both of them in the same time. I did paint the tub and the uh, instrument panel. So, here are. Uh, the most funny things with this kit. So this is from the MiG-17 and here is the MiG-15 BIS. If you look at them, they are absolutely identical. And if you go and read behind, underneath, it actually says MiG-15 BIS. So both of them have the same spurs. So, again, um, the kit seems to be pretty much free of flash, so the mold was quite good. Uh, in total, we have about a hundred of usable parts. We do have more. Um, this kit actually allows us to, to build either version. It's the MiG-17 F or PF in this case. Same problem with the... Uh, with the cockpit we do have a couple of um, raised um, details same problem with the rudders you might have a problem putting in the pilot uh, the drop tanks um, this three different um, nose cones um, this you can use for the MiG-15 or the MiG-17F this is for the PF and I think this is for, for the PFU here we have the um, landing gear um, front and aft um, pretty much rudimentary the um, altitude radar the nose gear bay um, the um, I think this is it was a um, SK-1 ejection seat again um, the um, the cannons Again, quite rudimentary, but there are a lot of improvement. The instrument panel, it is quite, I would say, rudimentary, but you can use one of these um, improvements um, PE from um, from Edward um, 33009, which looks quite nice, actually. Again, the same pilot which is, uh, I think he's uh, trying to communicate with uh, the ground. Here we have a headrest. For some reason we have two headrests, one over here and one over here. I'll have to, to understand why is that. Again, same spurs from the MiG-17 um, and MiG-15. 
um, same leather again the same pilot uh, same engine uh, the VK1 the dolly uh, for the, the the funny thing is that actually these aircraft shared the same engine it was the VK1 which is a, a ripoff uh, a copy unlicensed copy of the um, British Rolls Royce 99 engine again not too many details but again you will have to um, build this kit in this engine in order to uh, finish your your model same problem with the um, windscreen and the canopy and the clear parts they are nice and transparent um, but again they don't seem to be um, accurate We do have um, one marking option from um, the Chinese um, Air Force, which is 2074, and that's about it. I'm going to use, to be honest, a different, I'm going to make a different version of this aircraft. Here we have the rubber tyres and the weight. Um, not too many details on the rubber tires. I would have expected to have at least some um, inscriptions who made them, but um, they are nice. Um, this means that you're going to put in. Um, this means that they're going to be quite easy to paint without masks, so um, they're going to be uh, looking really nice. Um, but again, no, not, not too many de details. Uh, if you remember when I've done the F-105 one in 32 scale from Trumpeteer, actually that one had uh, nice details. The weight, which is pretty much a rod, a bar. Here we have the wings and the fuselage. The wings are upper and lower halves. With uh, main wheel wells um, molded in on on the bottom ones, which are um, um, I would say they are pretty much okay, ish. There is um, obviously room for improvement. There are the um, elevators are separated, which is going to give a nice look once. Uh, the kit is complete. The wheelbase again, nicely and uh, nicely done. Um, there are a lot of rivets and panel lines. They're nice, clean. Again, very nicely done by Trumpeteer. Again, a lot of details on the flaps and ailerons, and um, again on the rudder. We'll get to to that straight away. Here we have the fuselage, uh, which is splitted on um, vertically, um, forward and uh, uh, aft, left and right. Um, again, same like the MiG-15, you will be able to remove the, the tail of the aircraft to expose the engine if you want to, and put the, um, the tail on that dolly I showed you before. Here we have the lower forward fuselage inset. Uh, that includes the nose um, gear well. The cannons, as I showed, they are separate. Again, you can put in the um, air um, the air brakes. You can um, open or close them. Here they are. Again, no details on the inside, so probably they're going to be closed. Um, Again, um, there are not too many details on um, on the inside. Once you you're trying to expose the engine, I would say that this would be would have been a really nice um, thing to show 
the, the inside of the aircraft. The um, here we have the canopy frame. Well, that's about it. If you like my um, video, please subscribe. And um, next video is going to be another MIG because I'm thinking of starting a um, a MIG option um, presentation and the next is going to be the MIG 19 PM also known as Farm E. Um, again if you like my videos please subscribe and um, I'll try to do more. Thank you and goodbye.